welcome back to my channel welcome back to another weekly vlog so this week starting out it's monday um, at around 4 30 right now i've been in the city pretty much the entire day i booked a little lifestyle shoot with martha and i did that earlier around 8 or 9 this morning and i just been like sitting around waiting for my sonder to become available for check-in because check-in is at 4. they do offer like an early check-in but i did not qualify because i did book this sonder the day before like yesterday usually if you book in advance you can request that early check-in and they will accommodate you but but yeah this is not a sonder ad even though it should be i've been using this like whole thing so frequently actually on days where i have a lot of things going on in the city i just prefer to just stay the, the night here and just have fun besides i feel like the city looks good on me you know it looks good but i really wanted to give you guys a tour of this sonder because um this is another style that i was given than the others i've had previously so yeah let me give you guys a quick tour practicing for future casa octavia b but um yeah this is the door when you first enter and um yeah this is the way you're gonna turn and straight ahead this is what we're looking at my bags and stuff are at the door but just ignore that so the first thing you see when you walk in obviously is just straight ahead but on the left side we have a little i would say like a coat closet also has your ironing board broom and hangers and an iron up top there which i love this is why i love to come here on days where i have shoots because i can just iron my clothes and everything and in this area we have the washer dryer another reason why i love sonder is because you can wash your clothes while you're staying so you don't have to bring dirty clothes back home and um to the right we have the kitchen so i'm currently touring a bunch of apartments and i've seen various styles and layouts and the one thing i always say is that i would never do a studio apartment because i just know i would outgrow it so quickly lack of storage blah 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 right but whenever i come to sonder i say to myself you know what i think i could make a studio apartment work because like this layout is actually not bad there's a lot of storage in here i feel like everywhere i look there's another drawer another cupboard but um yeah back to the tour how the fridge and i love that the fridge is white and it matches the cabinet that way you don't have that like big silver thing sitting around i love this so we have the freezer down here and then we have the fridge which is not really big but it's big enough we have a loads of like cabinets storage and um cupboards and we have like basic stuff in here so a kettle a toaster they have teas and olive oil salt and pepper just basic things that you might need not that i'm going to be cooking in here and we have cups we have bowls and mugs plates yeah so they have like various things we have like a two burner stove we have a microwave and um just again pots and pans they have cloths um utensils everything you need to really make your stay as homey as possible what's in this oh a dishwasher i did not know they had a dishwasher i love that so we have our trash trash and recyclables here this area i think this is oh i love this and i love that it's facing the window definitely gonna take some content here like perfumes and like stuff like that i think that's really cute and my favorite part about the sonder in battery park is the view i love this view and i love that there's also a park right over here that you can go on walks and it's perfect because it's nice out it's a perfect little spot to walk at and um yeah the acs are really loud though and this is my purse from the day it's some flowers aesthetics lamp and a chair i love that this is like a built-in desk i like to see creative spaces especially when it's a small space i love like the creativity of this gonna sit here do my makeup every morning it's gonna be beautiful we also have a tv there is no cable but you can cast um storage for your clothing again this chairs and everything and i've already wiped down all the surfaces that i will be touching so yeah and finally the bathroom i kind of forgot to show you guys but i love how big and bright and airy their bathrooms are so this is the bathroom and this is me my jeans are so loose around the waist um annoying but um yeah 
this is the bathroom. I've already stored away a few of my skincare items. Um, I'm one of those people that unpacks their stuff when they go anywhere. So all my skincare stuff is in here. So face, body, well this is face. But um, yeah, all my skincare stuff is in here. Um, everything was clean. Again, I checked everything. And I'm gonna freshen up now because I have dinner plans. Um, so yeah, I've been wearing this makeup all day. I'm sweaty, I'm icky. I'm just gonna freshen up and head out for dinner. It's 4.30 now, I'm gonna be at dinner for six. We have loads of time. Some clothes, um, so this is what we're wearing for the day. It's the Skims bodysuit, which I was hoping was a slightly thicker than it is because it is just very see-through. Um, I was not gonna wear a bra, but I could see everything, like everything. Um, so I'm just wearing the Skims bodysuit, which I really, really like the shade of it, which is why I bought it, but I should have known it was gonna be sheer. And um, for jeans, I'm just wearing these jeans that I had on yesterday. It's my blue jeans, um, the crisscross style from Aritzia. And um, that, that's gonna be the look for the day. I'm just gonna wear sunglasses, um, but also it's not that sunny, so I'm just gonna do my makeup so I'm not one of those people that wear sunglasses when it's not sunny outside. Because I feel like people would be looking at you crazy, like, I'm gonna do an Instagram live right now with my makeup routine. Okay. Hey guys, we're gonna do some makeup today. Just waiting for some more people to join. All right, so after primer, we're gonna go in with foundation. I use these two NARS foundation. Um, one is the light reflecting and one is the natural radiant. What do you guys think of this foundation match? And the thing about NARS, NARS just gives you the coverage that looks like skin. Like you have the coverage, but it's not cakey and it just looks like skin. Like you can see my skin right now, like my skin's fine, but NARS is just going to give you that natural look, but just give you that coverage that just looks beautiful. I mean, it's stunning and it looks like skin. This is what foundation should look like. Granted, I don't need as much as I'm using. I'm So I'm not doing it much today. I do have lunch plans with Renee. We're gonna go grab a quick lunch. So for the concealer, I have three favorite concealers. Um, I have this one here from Hourglass. I just got this one. And I have another one. This is the NARS um, Creamy Concealer. And then I have my MAC concealer. So I have these three concealers that I really, really love. They're all three different shades and they're all for like three different purposes. Like if I'm gonna do like a heavier like makeup look, I go for this. If I'm doing like something for like a natural everyday look, I'll use this. This I use on special occasions because she's a little bit price, um, pricey. And <laughs> anyways. I'm gonna go in with the NARS Creamy Radiant today. Oh no, I think I'm gonna use this one because Renee is a special occasion. I'm gonna use, and I love the tip of this. Oh, this is one of the reasons also why I love it, the tip. You see that little pointy tip? It can get right up in like the tear duct. And you can just do like something like that. I'm gonna just do, also, I'm extra, so I'm gonna go along the sides of my nose, like that. Okay, and I'm gonna let this dry for like a sec, but, okay, foundation questions. Okay, Natural Radiant, my shade match is New Caledonia, and this one is the Light Reflecting in Manaus. Now we're gonna blend and, um, I don't use a beauty blender anymore. Um, I was in Sephora the other day and I was sampling a couple concealers and he blended it all out using a, a brush and I was fascinated. I was like, what brushes that I need it? Like, give it to me, I need it. And what the brush did, what the brush um, does versus the sponge, it doesn't pick up the product. So you're gonna get that full coverage with a brush versus a sponge. The Beauty Blender just takes away way too much product, whereas the brush just 
does it move it does that make sense i feel like sorry <laughs> it's the 71 brush but this is not the brush that he was using because the one that i wanted was out of stock so he said this is the next best one but what you want is a brush that's not too like it should be a little bit flexible and a little bit fluffy but this is the number 71 added to your sephora cart and um yeah and you want to just pat granted this does take longer but i mean the finish is beautiful and it's like which one you wanted i forgot the number i'm so sorry i i didn't really care to write it down because i was gonna buy this one anyways i was not gonna leave that store without a brush to blend my concealer out person when i'm shopping if i go to the store i want to walk out with that item i don't want to order online i don't want to wait two business days i want it that moment um <laughs> so um that's basically yeah same i literally i want it in that moment otherwise you know it's it's fine and your makeup there should be no harsh lines I should not see any harsh lines on anyone's face, okay? It's 2022, sit down and blend your makeup right, okay? If we see any of you guys are with any lines put on your face, we're gonna have a problem. Sit down and blend your foundation. <sighs> what comes next, powder, right? Oh no, sorry. We're gonna go in with the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. So we're gonna take the liquid blush and we're going to also put on the cheeks. I like to smile. Now, liquid blushes are dangerous, okay? Don't let... <laughs> this can ruin your makeup really quickly. So, I like to do it before I set. And I put way too much, way too much. But I like to put the blush on my cheeks, a little on my nose, like right here. And I'm going to put some on my eyelids also. You guys are always asking me what eyeshadow I wear. I don't wear eyeshadow. I literally use my blush. And for my blush, what do I use to blend this out again? I feel like he told me to use a certain brush for this. I forgot which brush. I don't know if I can use this. This is my powder blush um, um, thing, but I think I can use this one. I'm trying to see which brush I used yesterday. I think it's this one. I think it's this one. Rare Beauty. Rare Beauty. Rare Beauty Love. And then smile. I'm just going to pat this blush out. And again, when you're done blending, there should be no lines. All I should see is skin. Okay? Skin. And you want to blush. You want to, sorry. You want to blend your blush going upwards. Don't ever angle the brush down. We're going to always go up. Cause you want to pull those cheekbones up and this is what it's going to look like and don't be afraid to bring your blush under your eyes that's also like a very stunning look so all you see here so what you want to do is you want to just blend it upwards and um all we should see is um skin okay and i look like a clown right now with this red dot on my nose um but yeah, smile with the apples of your cheeks and we're going to blend upwards. Beautiful. You guys are such great students. <laughs> All right, okay, so you see that? All you see is skin and a little color on the cheeks. And for the nose, I kind of kind of just blend this all over the tip here. All right? Yeah, I'm scared of blush. Okay, so my trick with the blush, always do it when your skin is still wet. So after your concealer and your foundation, don't put this on top of powder. I've done that several times over and I just, I never win. Um, but I'm gonna do a little bit more blush because you know, I like, I, li I like blush. We're not afraid of blush. And I'm gonna put a little bit extra. And I love blush. And if you want to, you guys, you can dab some on your lips with a little chapstick. I'll show you that later. But when your blush and your lids and your lips like blend or match, I think that look is literally, literally everything. 
I love when I see it. So we're gonna do that. And now we're just going to... Are we ready? Okay, we're good. So this is the blush. It's not too heavy. Let me come closer. You see that? It looks so good. And this is the Rare Beauty Love Blush. I'm just gonna take that same brush and just blend out the lids because I don't have a lot of brushes in my collection. So, yeah. So you see that? Wow. How pretty so. Does that mean? Wow. Wednesday. What is it? Yeah, it's Wednesday. I'm getting ready to head upstairs or downstairs to the gym in this building. I'm going to like, I don't know, probably hop on the Peloton or pro quite possibly like a treadmill, something. I don't really care what it is. I just need to go and move my body a little bit. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today and just a little body update for you guys. I've only been to about four or five Pilates class so far and um, I will say that I definitely feel a lot like stronger overall Meaning my body just feels like it's been stretched like really really good My arms are definitely getting some definition back you guys can see with me holding my hands out This really wasn't there before so I definitely have some definition in the arms and shoulders And I also feel stronger in them as well. I can see the definition on the sides coming back like here in regards to the abs though, I find that so-so working out will not allow you to have that lean torso. You need to eat right. It's literally a, a very important factor and cardio, yeah. I used to have a very fit body back in the day and I used to be in the gym like every single day back in the day. And um, <laughs> so I kind of know a little something something. A little something something. I didn't extend my stay in the city because I do have an event going on tonight and tomorrow Monroe Steele actually invited me to one of her events as her plus one so I need to look for that because I didn't really pack like a lot of things to come here I just had my photo shoot clothes a t-shirt here and there so I would love to um you know like I would love to be able to go and look good and feel confident. I have bags and accessories and stuff. I just don't have like any el anything else.
All right, we're back upstairs now. I am going to freshen up really quickly, um, then go out. I booked another shoot with Martha. I don't know if I told you guys or not. Well, um, but I'm hoping to shoot with her today or tomorrow. Um, I figured while I'm here, why not just do book another shoot, you know, and just really have loads of content to work with. Um, so when I'm going through like my moving and apartment tours, I don't have to worry about staying active because I already have the content ready to go. I am now back at the Sonder. Um, I left Aritzia, came straight here, and I rushed here because I had a shoot that I scheduled at three. That's why I was shopping. Honestly, look on the bed. I took everything out of the Aritzia bag, tried everything on, and I don't know. I just don't think it looks good anymore. So I'm actually going to return a few of the items I got. I feel like I was just buying things in a rush and I didn't really think things through like what I would actually wear, what would make sense. So I'm actually on Aritzia.com right now. So the thing with Aritzia, a lot of the things that I really, really wanted, my size was not in stores. So, you know, they always give you the option to order, but it's like when I'm shopping, I, the last thing I want you to tell me, we don't have it, but we can order it. No. I literally want it right now. Like I want to walk out the store with the item that I want. Anyways, for lunch, I'm having a grain bowl from Kava. Kava is my favorite fast food right now in case you guys were curious to know what my favorite fast food is. It's Kava. I know to some people this isn't like fast food, but it is for me. It's like very, very quick and it's somewhat healthy. So it's a grain bowl and what it is basically is some white rice. If you guys can see underneath, so some white rice mixed with black lentils. We got some cucumbers. We have cucumbers and tomatoes, corn, harissa, hummus, and red pepper hummus. So it's some really, really good. And for protein, I believe this is the honey harissa chicken. So this is definitely a spicy rice bowl. It's definitely like that Mediterranean feel, which I love Mediterranean food. It is so yum. Definitely give Kava a try. And if you're a picky eater like I am, I love that you're able to just build your own. Hey guys, it is Thursday. I am now um, packing up to leave. Sorry, I am now packing up to leave the Sonder. Um, I just did my laundry and got dressed in my active wear set because I am actually going to leave here, go back to Jersey, and then head straight to my Pilates class, um, which I have not gone to this entire. This entire. Um, this entire, um, what am I saying in my head? This entire week, I have not gone to one class, and um, because I purchased like a little, like a little eight class package, I'm trying to use them up because if I do end up leaving that area, like moving somewhere else, I'm not checking all the way back there. And I don't think they have a class, a studio in the town that I'm moving to, so yeah. Anyways, we're packing up. Um, I am gonna go grab my skincare stuff next, which is in here. My makeup stuff, I'm gonna just pack up easily. I also really wanted to film a skincare video for you guys, um, but I'm not making a skincare video because look at my skin. 
what why would you listen to me <laughs> my skin look tired and popped on because i've just been neglecting it lately but give me two three weeks two three weeks if Actually, I should say longer because I don't know. After this move, I don't know if I'm gonna be stressed out. My skin gonna be even worse. I don't know. <laughs> to me, while I'm packing and everything, I'm gonna be going back to Jersey. I'm gonna just do this Crest White Strips. I have not wiped my teeth in ages, and not that they're yellowing, but I feel like they're not they're not sparkling as much as they usually do. The only downside is like when you have it in your mouth, you have kind of like a mini lisp. So yeah, toilet bag from Base. You know the deal. I'm gonna just drop all my products in here. I kind of just use the bottom portion to put all my products in. So I'm gonna do my cleanser. Actually, did I even cleanse my skin this morning? I most certainly did not. I did not cleanse my skin yet, so. Then we have my sunscreen. I'm just gonna go straight into sunscreen because nothing else is needed for me at the moment. What's up guys? I am back from Pilates. Went to Pilates earlier. It was really, really good. Um, it was probably the hardest class I've been to since like starting at the studio. It was intense, okay? Very intense. I was shook. Very, very shook, but I powered through it because I am a champion and I will never say no to a challenge. <laughs> But um, we're now home and I'm getting ready for New York. Yep, we're going back to the city. So in the living room, I never do anything out here. I never do anything out here because the living room obviously is the shared space and um, it's not really my aesthetic. <laughs> but um, once we move and get our own place, my entire apartment is gonna be a whole aesthetic so we can film wherever we want. But um, yeah, let's get ready. Um, I'm gonna do like a very simple look. You know, I'm not doing anything fancy. It's a cocktail kind of event. I'm gonna wear that yellow set that we picked up from Zara. I know, very adventurous. I don't really know. Um, when I purchased that set, I mean, I was saying to myself, I just had to have it, but I didn't really know on what occasion I would actually wear it. And I think tonight is the perfect occasion. Okay, so this is the set. You saw it in my Zara haul. It's beautiful yellow. All right, I'm low-key dressed and ready. Low-key. Not completely, but low-key. Um, I kind of feel like I want to be more bronzy, like more bronze. So I'm going to go in with my Charlotte Silbury bronzer. But it's not really a bronzer. This is a... Yeah, it is a bronzer, actually. I'm just gonna like bronze my face up a little bit. So I'm gonna just deepen like the contour. Um, you know, I'm just gonna deepen everything up. Um, one second. So this is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. This is a setting powder, but I feel like this has like little gold speckles in it. So it's gonna like really give me that bronzy look. I'm gonna like focus this also over my blush because my blush is a little bit too pink for my liking tonight. Tonight. For lips, we're gonna go with a new lip combo. I'm actually trying this out for the very first time, but NARS sent me a package the other day and these lip colors were in here. I did swatch them and I did realize that NARS's lip products are a lot less sticky than Buxom. So we might be converted from Buxom, which is very sad because Buxom is like my lippy. And to be quite honest, I'm okay to switch though because I feel like also I've been tagging Buxom for like a whole year and a half since I've been using their product and they never repost me. They don't even acknowledge the post, but they see it. So going in with my liner, you know the vibes. The lip color, the first one is this one called um, Fast Lane and it's like a lip shine. So this is more of a gloss, something that I'd wear on like an everyday basis, but it's the same color as Buxom but more like a chopstick kind of chapstick kind of vibe. 
used. So I'm gonna bring that in my bag. But we're gonna go in with this product here, which is called the Chelsea Girls. And this one was definitely a books and dupe. Ooh, yeah. But it's a little bit more nude and not pink, which I never thought I would like but I love it. So it's not more so a mauve, it's more so like a pink. I like this high shine lip gloss, which I was thinking, you know, I can just add this on top, you know, just kind of keep the gloss glossy. Okay, cute. So this is really good to put on top of like a lipstick. So I think I'm just gonna bring these three in my bag. This can stay home, because I don't really think I need it. But also, I might just bring the lip gloss and the clear one to be quite honest only because I feel like with this look a clear gloss lip look will be best so yeah we're good to go Okay, finally we're in the quiet. Dinner. We're sorry. heading to dinner. Oh my gosh, we're, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think I, I had, had a little peanuts and cheese today. It's a vlog set a little, you know, like yeah. I got it in the airport. Oh. In a coffee. Oh yeah. I oh, mean, I had some grapes. I'm extra hungry though because I feel like I've been teasing myself with the little orders. <laughs> the lobster <laughs> taco I mean. was good the lobster, though. The lobster I didn't taco even want to have any because I would just would have been like, get No, please. my stomach has not stopped growling since I've had that. morning it is Friday so it's the day after the fashion file event I actually just got home it's 9 30 right now and the same thing I was wearing last night and I'm gonna tell you why um so we're at dinner you know we're having a beautiful dinner at this lovely pasta dish that was phenomenal I mean we must go back to try it definitely gonna bring Renee it was so yum vibes and everything were there um, but yeah, we're having a cocktail. We're having a dinner and I had a thought like a random thought Octavia Where are your house keys? Again, I'm at dinner having cocktails eaten I wasn't even thinking of coming home anytime soon because we're still early the food didn't even touch the table yet You know so for me to have a thought about my keys I immediately was in shock because I knew that thought came in my head because my keys were not in my bag and I was right cannot find my house keys and AJ is out of town and um, I have no way of getting into my apartment however I did call the emergency line and I pressed the feature that says I'm locked out and um, I did reach the the super or whatever whatever the maintenance people and they're like yeah call us back when you're outside the apartment like physically so I'm like okay but are you sure you're gonna be awake because I know like it's just him I don't think he is like a maintenance staff it's just him and he, it's like he's like the live-in super you know so I was like oh my god like I don't really know if I trust that so I was like, okay, I'll call you back when I'm outside, but just promise me you're gonna be up because I don't wanna have to, or can I have like your personal line? That way I don't have to go through all this prompts all while standing outside at like 12, 1 a.m. I, I don't feel safe doing that. And um, so I just decided to stay at my you know, house because he does live in the city. And he also wasn't comfortable with me like coming back here late and having to wait outside anyways. So we just decided that it's best that I stay over there, so. I got there around like 12 I would say I don't know actually I feel like I had no sense of time last night because I was just like in like a panic mode so 
I just went to his place and slept over there and I just got back this morning. All right, I'm back and I'm dressed. I'm heading out now to just run a couple errands. For my hair today, I basically put a bunch of like Jamaican black castor oil and various oils in my hair and I just put this headband on top. Today's a wash day for me. I'm debating whether or not I wanna to go to the salon to wash it and just get like a roller set or just come home, wash it, wear curly and all of that. Um, that's my plan. My hairstylist, the one that did my microlink, she won't be back in town until June 10th to 20. So I feel like I do need to like make this hold up for the next two weeks. Um, wearing it curly is probably the best bet, but also wearing it straight is just way easier. So I might just go and get it blown out. I might just do that. I feel like I love that look. Um, for today's outfit, for errands, we're gonna be wearing this shirt that I recently hauled from Zara. It's the shirt with the leaves. A lot of you guys were commenting saying that this shirt is no longer $25.90, it's now $90. So when I picked this up, um, the tag did say $25.90. And I think that's what I paid, and that's what I paid for it on the Zara website at the time. But I think that was an error in the system because online it's showing us 90 bucks. But I did check my receipt and I was charged 25.90 for it. So I'm sorry. It, I guess it was an error. And uh, for sunglasses, I might wear this one today. Only thing about this one, I just feel like the frames are brown. I don't know if I want to be have wear it brown today, so I might wear another Desi pair. This one is called Switch. So I feel like this one looks a little bit better. I love a black frame, you guys. I'm a black sunglasses girl, always will be. And for fragrance of the day, Te Noir 29. I wore this a few days ago, and when I tell you, everyone was like, girl, what are you wearing? That is like, you smell amazing. If you guys have ever been to the one hotel, you know that hotel smells amazing. Like it smells so good in there. It just smells rich and luxurious. So I love that hotel so much. So when I found this fragrance that smells exactly like it, I was like, yes. All right, so this is the outfit. Sorry, I didn't really have any place in my room to show you my outfit because my room's a mess, but this is the shirt that I'm wearing. It's the shirt that I shared to my Zara haul. And I'm just wearing these white shorts with them. Wearing the black Iran sandals, accessorizing with the, and my Polen bag in black. So really, really cute. I love this outfit. Like I really love this bed, but I think my dream bed is this one here, you guys. This is my dream bed. I love the color scheme of this. I really love this bedroom. I love the gray the gray, black, whole thing. I love this circle mirror. This is 349, 349, love it. I love how this is styled. I'm gonna take pictures and copy this entire look. This entire look, I love this vase, I love this, I love this. Also really love this bed, sorry about the lighting. I love this bed so much. Guys, I feel like I might buy this entire bedroom. I might buy the buy the bed, the dresser, the mirror. It's gonna run me some money, but at least I won't have to think about it. Also, I really love this bit, but I think my room is just way too small for all of this. My future room. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm back home from running my little errands. I didn't really vlog as much. It's way too hot outside to, to, do, to even think. Like way too hot. Um, I ordered some food also because no cooking is taking place in this apartment today. No cooking. Um, it's too hot. Um, I ordered some soup from Golden Crust, which I'm so excited about. I got some chicken soup. You guys know I love me some soup when it's hot outside. It just, I don't know. I just want to have a little taste. I also ordered some curry goat as well because I'm gonna need dinner for later. <laughs> this is lunch. Mm -hmm. Their soup is really good. I think the one thing I would, I'm not really a big fan of is that it's very thick. I like my soup a little bit like brothy. All my favorite like local Jamaican restaurants, they no longer serve soup for some reason unless it's catering, which is insane.
So yeah, that's pretty much that. guys so my groceries just came in from Whole Foods so I thought I'd do a really quick grocery haul for you guys so in this first bag we have so in this first bag we have like we have vanilla sandwiches I love that for a dessert I have some organic whole grain brown rice I got the frozen one because I do not like to cook brown rice I, I thought also this was going to be like a smaller bag so I got three which I'm so annoyed about because I don't like brown rice like that but I guess I'll, I have no choice but to eat it so in this bag I got ooh, three things in here we have three things of bok choy this is going to be my vegetables of choice this week um, so this is going to be paired with like my salmon and that sort of stuff. Then I just got three yogurt and I got some ginger here. Large thing of espresso coffee by Chameleon. Is that how you say it? I love this. This coffee is strong as hell and I just love to just have a little shot glass worth of this. Start my day. This is just some chicken thighs. I'm either gonna have this for dinner or my salmon, not sure. We will cook together. This next bag has my cereal. Uh, I also got Raisin Bran. I don't know what possessed me to get this. I just had like a little weird craving, so I decided to do this. And in this bag, I have my granola. I love granola on my yogurt, so got that. This next bag, we have I got some pirate booties. Um, I got some pirate booty like aged cheddar chips um, puffs. So this is similar to like Cheeto Cheeto puffs, but it's like healthy. You know, if when I'm editing and I want to snack on something. And for my sweet, I just got these vanilla wafers. I've never tried these before, but I feel like they would be good. We have my Bosque pears. Got three. And I just have two sweet potatoes. And I just have two sweet potatoes here. And finally, we have my salmon, which I think I might make today. And a bunch of like poppy soda. So these sodas are like, um, what do you call them? They are probiotic, prebiotic, sodas um so i love these so much definitely try them out they taste like soda but they're actually good for the gut so i got a couple flavors i got this one here which is the strawberry lemon i got the raspberry rose a raspberry rose it's not cooking time just yet, it's still 9 a.m., but I wanted to marinate my salmon. That way, as I go about my day, it's just soaking up the flavor of the marinade. I did do this off camera because I do make my marinades from scratch, and they're always just different each time, so there's no actual recipe. But it's basically a little um, browning, some soy sauce, um, a bunch of seasoning, you know, the usual, the garlic powder, the black pepper, the salt, the red pepper flakes. I have some sesame seeds in here, um, scallion, onions, garlic, and um, I'm not sure if I said browning yet, but I add some browning, which is what this beautiful color is coming from. And the secret ingredient in here is fresh ginger. Add some fresh ginger to your marinade. It's gonna give it such amazing flavor. I just have a little saran wrap on top of this and this is gonna sit in the refrigerator for a couple hours and it's going to be so good and we're going to bake this, but you guys will see that later. 
All right guys, I'm about to get dinner ready and um, I just transferred the marinated salmon into this little tiny like casserole style dish. Um, I'm just going to bake it in here. I didn't have a baking sheet, I don't know where they are. I think they all just broke or something. So yeah, we're gonna place it in this and I'm just going to pop it in there for a couple minutes. I usually um, cook my salmon on the stove top, but I just don't have time to babysit it, so that's why we're putting it in the oven. I'm not exactly sure how long. The only thing I added since we last spoke was some sprigs of thyme that I'm actually going to make sure is submerged in the juices, otherwise it's gonna just burn on top. Just gonna make sure that it's submerged in the marinade, that way it doesn't burn. But um, I love thyme, I love the flavor of thyme, so that's what we were walking with. So let's pop this in the oven because the timer just went off. And for the rest of my dinner, I'm going to be having some bok choy and I'm gonna cook this up as if it were like kalaloo, if you guys know what that is. I'm just gonna like saute in the saucepan like really quickly. I still wanted to have a slight crunch to it. And I think this is gonna pair really, really well with the salmon. And I'm gonna just have like a little thing of brown rice. So first of all, guys, I'm so sorry for this very wacky cooking tutorial. I just freestyled this dish <laughs> so much that it was very hard for me to like film anything because I did not know what I was doing. But um, we have here the brown rice on the very bottom, a bok choy, an entire bok choy, and um, two pieces of my salmon. Can I just say something really quickly? This salmon is insane. I don't even know what I did, but I will try to remember because you guys need, you guys need to try this. It is so freaking good. It's the best salmon I've ever had. 